Hi guys, welcome to Technical Tuesday. My name's Andy Dudley and behind me is the Anaconda DF410 scalping screen. Anaconda was formed in 2005 and they have a manufacturing facility in Northern Ireland. They produce a range of crushers and screeners. Let me take you around the DF410 and show you some of the features and benefits. So starting at the back of the machine, we have a belt feeder which feeds into your 10 foot by 4 foot screen box. In this screen box we have two layers of mesh. Now those meshes can be changed for whatever size product you want to get out of the machine. As the material comes through the vibrating box, we have a conveyor system here. That is your mid-sized product. The conveyor here towards the back is the fines and the conveyor here at the front is your oversized product. Powering the DF410 is a JCB Stage 5 diesel engine. On this side here, you can see you've got access in to the controls for the machine for the main start and stop. We also have five hydraulic spools here, and this is to start the infeed, to start the screen and the conveyors, and everything is speed controlled as well. The unit that I've got here in my hand, this is the tether control for actually moving the machine about. This is standard, but as an option, you can have this as a radio remote. Behind this access panel, we have service and maintenance access points for the engine and hydraulics. Looking into the access panel here, you can see the battery isolator, and this is designed so you can actually lock it in the off position. So if you're working on the machine, you can put a padlock through there or a lockout tag, just so that nobody starts it while you're working inside the machine. Here we've got a sight glass for the hydraulic oil tank. And then at the top of the tank, we can see where the hydraulic filter sits, access to the battery, and then onto the engine, we've got the engine oil dipstick, oil filter, oil filler, and also a fuel filter. One of the benefits of this machine is that all the conveyor belts on here can be adjusted from both ends. What that means is, on one end of the conveyor, you have an adjustable roller, and also on the top of the conveyor, you have an adjustable roller. So that means you can get the tracking and tension of that belt absolutely perfect. All the conveyors on this machine are hydraulically adjustable. This front conveyor here, we can lower down to a near horizontal position, which allows access into the screen meshes for easy removal and replacement. We'll demonstrate that to you now. So now with the conveyor on the floor, it's nice and simple. We can walk straight up to the screen box, get onto the top there, and then we can change our meshes out for a different size. Mesh replacement on the screen box is really simple. We've just got a row of nuts down this side of the machine, and then you can see inside the screen box there, we've got some wedges that pull out. Once they're removed, you can lift the screens straight out of the top. When it comes to the removal of the lower meshes, this is done from the outside of the machine here. So to take the tension off the lower meshes, we slacken these two bolts here, and the same on the other side, and remove the banana bar from the mesh. That allows us then to unhook it from the wear plate and pull the mesh out of the opening up here. With the belt feeder in its working position, we have a nice little feature at the back here. So if you're using a smaller excavator with less reach on it, we can actually drop open the back part of this hopper, which allows for easier feeding. Now I've taken you around the machine and shown you some of the features and benefits. Let's get it running. Thank you for watching Technical Tuesday. If you do have any questions about the machine, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can give our office a call on 01476 568 384. I look forward to speaking to you next time. 